All right, we got five minutes on the clock. What is your name and what is your podcast show? Uh, my name is Scott Aaron, and my podcast is called Networking and Marketing Made Simple. Nice. Now, you have hit some massive milestones with your podcast. Why don't you give us an overview, and then how did you do it? So I've had my podcast uh, going on five years now. Um, uh, at the uh, Basically, right now, I'm, I'm at my five-year anniversary. Launched it in 2019. Um, so about, you know, uh, maybe four-plus years, whatever it is. And uh, currently... Uh, I stand at around 650,000 total listens, um, almost 800 plus ratings and reviews. And uh, it, it's been a game changer for building the know, like, and trust with my audience that's global, but also really positioning myself as a, a go-to expert uh, and uh, a person of value for people that are looking to, to network better um, and to market themselves better online. For sure. I interviewed you probably four years ago on, on one of my podcast shows. And since then, I've built maybe five or so. I've shut down a few. But you've stuck with the same the same game, the same brand. And because of that, you have 650,000 downloads and, or listens. And then you also have 800 something reviews. Yeah. What, what do you what do you what do you equate your stick to itness? Like, where did that come from for you? So I would say it's the compound effect. You can't expect anything to happen overnight. It's, it's the, I call it the, uh, uh, the marathon version of growing a business, not the sprint version. So a mm -hmm. lot of people, you can't, you can't hit the numbers that you want to hit without achieving the ones before it. So you got to get to a thousand listens and 10,000 listens and so on and so on. And things ramped up, you know, it, it wasn't like crawling along, but it's only been probably in the last two years that, you know, I went from anywhere, I would say from eight to 12,000 listens per month um, to now 30 to 50,000 listens yeah. per month. But it, it it took three years to kind of get to that. You know, we call it the hockey stick, right? So when you look at the a hockey stick, it's a straight line. And then all of a sudden it starts curving and then it goes straight up. And, you know, pod fade is, is a, a, an epidemic within the podcasting community where people get really excited. They start their podcast, they drop a bunch of episodes and they're like, where's all the people? Where are all the listens? Where's all the ratings and reviews? But you, you have to get over that hump of you know, your first 25 episodes, your first 50 episodes, your first hundred and so on and so on. And you don't focus on the vanity metrics that the numbers show up when the value is there. And I think a lot of people, they have these carrots dangled in front of them and they think they're going to be a quote unquote top one percenter on iTunes. And it just takes time. I, I don't care about all the, the vanity stuff. What I care most about is making sure that every single episode that I drop and there's two a week, there's an interview and a solo episode. I make sure every single one is jam packed with value where it's leaving people better than when they found it and when they first started listening to it. Yeah. Where during this time, describe a time where you about to hit pod fade and you're so glad you didn't like explain with that process and why you pushed through. Well, I would say in the, in the earlier stages, um, I, I made a commitment to myself to, to do, you know, 50 solo episodes and then move into the interview process where I would do an interview and a solo episode. And, and I questioned myself, like, can I keep up with two episodes a week? But when you really start to master your craft and you, um, quote unquote, as, as they say in podcasting world, get a bunch of episodes in the can where you end up being four, eight, 12 weeks ahead, which I always am, that sets you up for success. The people that end up in pod fade, if those are the ones that are doing things too much in real time, where you're like, I don't know what to talk about this week. And like, oh, I'll just wait till next week and upload it. And then two yeah. weeks goes by, two months goes by, and then it disappears. Yeah. How can you prevent, uh, so you help people launch podcast shows, help them become experts. How could you help coach them on staying away from the vanity metrics? Because we all get caught in that. Yeah. Uh, pretend they don't exist because everyone has a, a first episode. Everyone has a day one and it's the long game that you're playing. So if you want your business to be in business for as long as you want it to be, you have to understand 
that there is a ladder that needs to be climbed. Arnold Schwarzenegger said it best. He said, you can't climb the ladder of success with both hands in your pocket. So that's the thing that I always come back to. And I tell people, it's not about where you are right now. It's where you're going. So, you know, whether it's one listen, Time's two listens. Time's up, brother. Yeah. If people want more of you, what's the name of your podcast show and where could they go to get it? Yep. Networking and marketing made simple on all major platforms, iHeartRadio, iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcast. Just search it, find it, listen to it, and I hope you enjoy it. Awesome, man. We'll see you all on the next episode.